Hello all, let's start with chapter 1 chemical reactions and equation. So today I would be covering some objective questions of it. So let's start with the first one. So it says a substance which oxidizes itself and reduces other is known as oxidizing agent, reducing agent, both of these or none of these. So th the right answer for this is reducing agent. So reducing agent is the one which oxidizes itself and reduces other. The second one, which of the following reaction involves the combination of two elements? So here we have four reactions involved. So in this case, we need to tell which is the one which involves a combination of two elements. So as you can see in the second one, we have two elements that is sodium and oxygen. And the resultant is the combination of two elements. So the right option in this case is B part. Now moving on to the third question. It says when hydrogen sulfide gas is passed through a blue solution of copper sulfate, a black precipitate of copper sulfide is obtained and the sulfuric acid so formed remains in the solution. The reaction is an example of. So in this we have copper sulfate that is CuSO4 and we have hydrogen sulfide gas that is H2S. It forms copper sulfate and we have H2SO4 sulfuric acid. So the reaction you can say is the double, display, double decomposition reaction. Now moving on to question number 4. It says which of the following is a physical change so here we have four options that is formation of curd from milk ripening of fruits getting salt from sea water burning of wood so in this case the right option is C getting salt from sea water because as you know that the physical change is the change which can give back the reactants by physical means so hence getting of salt from sea water can be considered as a physical change now moving on to question number five it says what happens what happens when copper rod is dipped in iron sulfate solution so in this as you know the iron iron is actually more reactive than copper hence you can say copper will not displace iron from iron sulfate so there won't be any reaction here so the right option in this case is C that is no reaction take place moving on to question number six so it says a student added dilute hcl to a test tube containing zinc granules and made following observations it says the zinc surface became dull and black b a gas evolved which burned with a pop sound the solution remained colorless the solution becomes green in color so let us write first equation for it so we have zinc and hcl we have metal and an acid so metal when reacts with acids acid form salt and hydrogen gases evolve when hydrogen gases evolve that means it will produce a pop sound so the right option is b in this case now question number seven it says dilute solution of sodium carbonate was added to two test tubes one containing dilute HCl and other containing dilute NaOH. The correct ob observation was. So we have sodium carbonate that can be written as Na2CO3 plus twice of HCl. It gives NaCl. It gives H2O. It gives carbon dioxide. Now when we have sodium carbonate with a base that is sodium hydroxide it won't react there won't be any reaction here so the correct observation out of four will be c a colorless gas liberated in a test tube a so that would be a right option because in the second one there won't be any gas produced so let's start with question number eight so it is a balanced chemical equation is in accordance with Avogadro's law law of multiple proportion law of conservation of mass law of gases volume 
so it is actually according to law of conservation of mass that represents that there should be equal number of masses on the both sides that is left hand side and right hand side now question number 9 it says the equation is there with some different elements then we have to actually find x and y value here this can be done when we can actually balance the equation here so as you can see cu on left hand side is 1 h on left hand side is 1 n is 1 again oxygen is 3 and on the right hand side we have cu 1 n is 1 no sorry n is 2 O is six, and O is not six. O is six plus two, plus two. It is eight. So we need to find which are the numbers we have on both the sides. That is x and y here. So let's balance it. So H N O three here should be four. Why? Because then only we can make o as 12 now on the right hand side you can count we have o 6 in the first one then 2 then 2 so this will makes 10 now we need to add 2 two here 2 here more so it will be when we have 12 here so i need to write 4 here and my y will be as you can see now we have 4 n here on the left hand side now we should have n 4 on the right hand side so n here is 2 and n here is 1 that means three number are there now if i write 2 here so it will be 4 in total 4 so that means it is 4 and 2 x value is 4 and y value is 2 let's start with question number 10 so it says zinc plus h2so4 gives us zinc sulfide and h2 now which above reaction is it is so it is you can say a uh, decomposition or single displacement or combination reaction or synthesis reaction so this is nothing but a single displacement reaction because we have only single element as a part so it will be single displacement reaction moving on to question number 11 it says reaction in which two compounds exchange their ions to form new compounds is so whenever they talk about ions and there is two compounds then you should understand that it is a double displacement reaction now moving on to 12th it says a redox reaction is one in which both the substances are reduced both the substances are oxidized and acid is neutralized by the base one substance is oxidized while the other is reduced so it is a reaction redox reaction is a reaction in which we have both the things so in this one substance is oxidized while the other is reduced now moving on to question number 13 it says when the gases sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide mix in the presence of water the reaction is sulfur dioxide gives us 2h2s gives us water plus sulfur here hydrogen sulfide is acting as an oxidizing agent a reducing agent a dehydrating agent a catalyst so it is a reducing agent because as you can see H2S is oxidizing into H2O, hence behave as a reducing agent. So moving on to question number fourteen, it, it we have a, a reaction here. So we need to tell which of the reaction it is of. So redox, synthesis, neutralization, analysis reaction. So you can see one reaction being reduced, one element being reduced, and another element being oxidized so that therefore it is a redox reaction moving on to question number 15 we have a reaction here and we need to tell them the value of x here 
so on the left hand side again we have na as 2 and c in first is 1 o is 3 now h is 1 cl is 1 again we need to balance this equation so na is 2 cl is 2 c is 1 o is 3 h is 2 so therefore you can see that my h is not balanced and my cl cl is not balanced left hand side and right hand side so i need to multiply 1 with 2 and 1 with 2 to make it equal so therefore my x should be 2 in this case now moving on to question number 16 In the equation we have equation is there and we need to tell them nitric acid is acting as so as you can see here nitric acid is this HNO3 so you can see that an HNO3 to form salt NaNO3 and water so this is actually an acid here representing as an acid it is not an oxidizing agent it is not a nitrating agent or a dehydrating agent it is actually acting as an acid here now we have question number 17 we have a reaction and we need to tell which type of reaction it is so you can see here we have a displacement reaction as al being replaced with fe so you can say that it is a displace, displacement reaction not a double displacement but a displacement reaction because we have a single element here now moving on to question number 18 white silver chloride in sunlight turns to gray yellow remain white or red it is actually gray which is a silver we obtain now question number 19 black and white photography uses decomposition of silver chloride decomposition of silver bromide yes it is actually decomposition of silver bromide which is actually used in the photography of photography basically now moving on to question number 20 it says when copper powder is heated it gets coated with black copper oxide yellow copper oxide red copper oxide none of these it actually turns black so therefore the black copper oxide now moving on to question number 21 it says combustion of phosphorus and oxygen is an example of oxidation reduction rancidity none of these so it is actually like this we have p and we have oxygen it gets converted into p2o3 then or you can write it as P2O5 as well. So it is actually oxidation reaction between phosphorus and oxygen. Now question number 22. It says to indicate the presence of gaseous reactant or product we use the symbol. So for this for gaseous reactant we have to use the symbol D part. Either you can use A or you can use B so the right option in this case is D part let's start with question number 23 so it says when calcium nitrogen oxide is heated it gives calcium oxide nitrogen oxide and oxygen the correct number of moles of calcium nitrogen oxide and calcium oxide and nitrogen oxide plus oxygen are present in the reaction so are respectively so we need to find the number of moles for each so in this again we need to balance the chemical equation so as you can see on the left hand side we have calcium 1 nitrogen is 2 oxygen is 6 now on the right hand side we have calcium 1 oxygen is 1 2 3 4 5 then nitrogen is 1 so you can see that the nitrogen is unbalanced and oxygen is unbalanced so we need to write the number of moles accordingly so if i write 
2 here so it will be now 2 calcium and 2 into 4 now nitrogen will be 4 and oxygen will be 6 and 8 now calcium will be 1 less so therefore I need to write 2 here so now it is 2 and calcium being 1 added in that so it will be 6 then we need to add more to it like in this case it will be nitrogen will be 4 now because it's it is 4 now here so I will write 4 here so it will be 4 and 2 8 and 10 so it is 10 here and oxygen here is 6 and 2 here 6 plus 2 and 2 so th therefore it will be 10 here so that means 2 2 4 1 that means the right option is 2 2 4 1 therefore the number of moles will be this now moving on to question number 24 it says which of the following reaction is characterized by the yellow color of product so here we have four different reactions present here so therefore you have to tell that which will have the yellow color as the product so out of these all lead oxide produced yellow color so remember that the yellow color is produced by lead oxide which is initially is red in color when it heated it gives off yellow color now question number 25 it says which one of the following involves a chemical reaction evaporation of water storing on nitrogen gas under pressure keeping petrol in china dish in open or heating magnesium wire in the presence of air at high temperature so the right option is d part so magnesium when reacts with oxygen it gives off magnesium oxide Now moving on to question number 26, it says ethane C2H6 on complete combustion, combustion gave CO2 and water. It shows that results are in accordance with the law of conservation of mass. The, then the coefficient of oxygen is equal to, let us write a equation for it, gives of carbon dioxide and water. Now we have to balance the equation so c2h6 will be 1 now we have to balance oxygen so here oxygen is 3 and oxygen here is 2 only so let us uh, let us actually make them equal so carbon is here too and h is 6 here so i need to multiply this with the first term with 2 because it will make carbon as 2 first of all now oxygen here is unbalanced that is oxygen on right hand side is 4 plus 1 that is 5 so therefore we need to multiply we need to multiply it with now it will be actually 3 here 3 h2 why because h is 6 here so it will be 6 now oxygen has been changed which is oxygen now in total on right hand side will be 4 plus 3 that is 7. So therefore I need to write here 7 over 2 because 7 over 2 into 2 will make 7. So therefore 7 over 2. So the coefficient of oxygen in this case is let's start with question number 27. So it says it says a powdered salt x in a dry test tube was heated that evolves brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide and yellow residue of lead oxide that means my product is lead oxide and nitrogen oxide and oxygen is there so therefore it must be from lead nitrate it must be from lead nitrate that means my powdered salt is lead nitrate here 
so that means the right option out of these two is lead nitrate now moving on to question number 28 it says a reddish brown colored metal used in electric fires when powder and heat is strongly in an open china dish it turns color it its color turn black when hydrogen gas is passed over this black substance it regain its original color based on the information the metal and black colored substances are so as you know for electric wires we use copper so it must be copper but we have two options for it copper and copper nitrate copper and copper oxide so it is actually copper oxide because it is in black color so the right, right option is c part now moving on to question number 29 it says when dilute sulfuric acid is added to pieces of iron sulfide hydrogen sulfide gas is produced and soluble ferrous sulfate is formed the type of chemical reaction is so we have fes and we have h2so4 therefore we have double displacement reaction because we have compounds present here now moving on to question number 30 it says following reaction is used for the preparation of kclo3 gives us potassium chloride and oxygen so which of the following statements are true which of, basically we need to tell them type of the reaction so in this it is actually a decomposition reaction but we have two two same actually two same parts which has decomposition reaction but it asks for a nature as well endothermic or exothermic basically here huh? so as you know it is actually an endothermic reaction why because in this there is uh, absorption of heat so therefore you have to write endothermic reaction now moving on to the last question of mcq so we have 31st question for it then we have some fill in the blanks then we have true false then we have assertion reason so it has a metal m reacts with an acid according to the equation here so we need to tell which of the following is correct for metal m now first of all i will balance h atoms here so as you can see we have m h plus and h2 is there so i must add two to two i must write two multiple of h plus to give us m3 plus plus h2 now we need to balance the charge here so how to balance charge here is multiplying 2h plus by 3 now we need to multiply it with 3 so therefore it it will be 6h plus gives us 2m3 plus plus h2 h2 should be 3 now m3 plus by 2 so that charge on each side is plus 6 now we need to balance m atoms so let's balance it out so we need to multiply 2 here with m so it will be 2m 6h plus gives us 2m 3 plus plus 3 h2 so this is the required balance equation and the metal here would be aluminium let's start with fill in the blanks so the first fill in the blank says when calcium carbonate is heated it decomposes to form dash and dash gas so whenever you have a carbonate compound then it is obvious that you will get carbon dioxide as the end product and the other will be metal oxide so the metal here is calcium and it would be a calcium oxide so calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas is the right answer for first one now the second is precipitation reactions produce dash salt so this is very important it produce insoluble salt salt now the third one is electrolysis of water is a dash decomposition reaction so it is actually an electric decomposition reaction now the next is reactions in which energy is absorbed are known as dash reactions 
so these are the endothermic reactions now next one is the new substance produced in a reaction are called as so they are also known as products the initial one are known as reactants the resultant are known as products now moving on to sixth part it says the reaction of sodium sulfate and barium chloride result in the formation of white precipitate of so it is actually barium sulfate so right option to this is i mean right filling the blanks would be barium sulfate here now the next is two different atoms or group of atoms are exchanged in dash reactions so this is very easy so it is double displacement reaction next one is repeated that is precipitation reactions produce dash salt so it is insoluble again ninth one is reduction is the dash of oxygen or gain of hydrogen so it is actually loss of oxygen or gain of hydrogen now moving on to next it is the digestion of food in the body is an example of so it is decomposition reaction as it decompose in decomposed into small parts so decomposition reaction next is the addition of oxygen to a substance is called oxidation next is when calcium carbonate is heated it decomposes to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas now next is in a react in a dash reaction two or more substances combine to form a new single substance so it is from the name itself combination reaction now next reactions in which heat is given out along with the products are called dash reactions so it is exothermic reaction now next is when an element displaces another element from the its compound a dash reaction occurs so it is known as displacement reaction when we have a single element and another element replaces the com replaces from its compound it is known as displacement reaction next is true false so the first one says a complete chemical equation represents the reactants products and their physical state symbolically so it is yes true that complete chemical equation should have reactants products and their physical states the second one is the reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen gives ammonia this is an example of a decomposition reaction this is false as we should only have a de in a decomposition reaction only one substance should be there so this is false then the third one magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling flame in air and changes into a white substance this is very much true fourth one rusting is a double decomposition reaction this is false fifth one a chemical cannot be reversed this is true basically this means chemical equation cannot be reversed this is true the next one the number of atoms of each element is conserved in any chemical reaction yes this is also true next one oxidation is the loss of electrons from a substance this is true next one the term aqueous represents water as solvent this is true rusting of iron and rancidity are caused due to oxidation this is again true reduction is the gain of electrons by a substance this is true the formation of copper and water the reaction of copper oxide is an example of a redox reaction this is again true because it involves reduction as well as oxidation curdling curdling of a milk is a physical change this is false the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen to give ammonia is an example of combination reaction this is true because it involves two two elements present here and when they combine they form a compound so 14th for word equation we do need to know the formula for the chemicals involved but in symbol equations we do 
this is true again 15th action of heat on ferrous sulfate is an example of a decomposition reaction this is again true let's start with assertion reason so we have these directions for assertion reason so must read this carefully and then answer the following so the first one is stannous chloride is a powerful oxidizing agent which oxidizes mercuric chloride to mercury the reason is stannous chloride gives gray precipitate with mercuric chloride but stannous chloride does not do so so this is actually assertion is correct it is a very strong oxidizing agent but the reason is incorrect for this so therefore the right option for this will be c part now second is assertion is corrosion of iron is commonly known as rusting that's right corrosion of iron occurs in presence of water and air both assertion and reason are correct but reason or is not actually the correct explanation of assertion so therefore it will be b now moving on to the third part it says it says in a reaction zinc plus copper sulfate gives us zinc sulfate and copper zinc is reductant but itself get oxidized so reason is in a redox reaction oxidant is reduced by accepting electrons and reductant is oxidized by losing electrons yeah that's right assertion and reason are both right so therefore and correct explanation as well so it will be a moving on to fourth it says a reducing agent is a substance which either accept electron reason a substance which helps in oxidation is also known as reducing agent assertion is actually incorrect here <coughs> assertion is incorrect reason is correct so therefore it will be d part now moving on to question number 5 it says the balancing of chemical equation is based on law of conservation of mass that's right total mass of reactant is equal to total mass of product that's also right so these are also correct explanation so therefore it will be a now moving on to sixth it says carbon dioxide turns lime water milky reason is carbon dioxide sullies the water reason is actually false here assertion is right so therefore it will be c where assertion is true but reason is false now moving on to question number 7 it says a chemical reaction becomes faster at higher temperature reason is at higher temperature molecular motion becomes more rapid that's right both are right so it is correct explanation as well so it will be a now eighth part it says sodium metal is stored under kerosene reason is metallic sodium melts when exposed to air assertion is true a is true but reason is false so therefore it will be c part now question number 9 it says to dilute sulfuric acid acid is added to water not water to acid then reason is specific heat of water is quite large yeah that's right for both the cases and reason is actually the correct explanation of assertion so therefore it will be a so that's all for chapter number 1 will will get you more of the